Not in the distant past, their daily confrontation was with starvation and deprivation. A plate full of food was a dream they could never fulfill. This was the reality of thousands of women in the Medak district of Andhra Pradesh before they organized themselves as Sanghams of the Deccan Development Society, a voluntary organization working in Zahirabad region. The women have never looked back since. The very first action plan of this NBSAP process is a people's plan. From a community of the starving, they became a community of the plenty. From being food receivers, they went on to become food providers. The Deccan Development Society works in 70 villages. Each village has a Sangham, a village-level women's group. The women primarily belong to Dalit castes, socio-economically the most marginalized groups in India. They have refused to be put down by this marginalization, demonstrating an extraordinary capacity to regenerate their lives through regeneration of their soils, their agriculture, their environment, and their communities. Through a cycle of autonomies, they have designed their community sovereignty. More than 80% households in the DDS communities grow all the food and nutrition they need in their pocket-sized farms. They are now food sovereign. Their monumental achievement has been their 15-year-old millet-based alternative PDS founded on the principles of local production, local storage, and local distribution system. Through this effort, they have proved that even the most marginalized communities in one of the most ecologically challenged regions of the country can live a life of dignity without having to look for their food from outside. Their alternative PDS has influenced the historic National Food Security Act to introduce millets for the first time in the national PDS and endorse the principle of local procurement championed by DDS women. Of an even larger significance is the seed sovereignty achieved by the women of DDS. Every one of them conserves and uses more than 15 to 20 seeds in a household seed bank. Their control over seeds is absolute. Their community seed bank in every one of their villages conserves over 70 to 80 local seeds which anyone in their community can borrow and plant in her farm. While the rest of the farmers in India face a seed crisis every season, the DDS women don't need a single outside seed for their farming. Pioneering the concept of agro-biodiversity in their agriculture, the DDS women have staked the claim to be the first Indian community to be recognized as agro-biodiversity heritage sites by the national government. They have also literally designed the agro-biodiversity chapter of Government of India's National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan. Besides food and farming, 
the women have made great strides towards their own autonomous healthcare system. Based on local knowledge and using plant medicines, they cure more than 50 diseases in their villages free of cost. They not only offer safe health care, but also save over 5 million rupees every year to their communities. The autonomous market established in 2001 by 3,000 women has grown 600% in volume in the last 10 years. It trades ecological produce of the DDS women and offers a 40% dividend every year to all its members. All decisions are taken democratically and women lead this process. The crowning glory of DDS Women is the 15-year-old Community Media Trust. They have transcended their non-literacy, gender, poverty and social marginalization to make their own films on a range of issues. These are circulated worldwide, translated in languages such as English, French, German, Spanish, Swahili and Bahasa. They are the first Indian group to set up and operate a community FM radio station. An all-women, all-Dalit radio station. Their experiences are valued so much by the world that they are now leading many civil society networks and coalitions in India and abroad working on various cutting-edge issues. Travelling to over 15 countries worldwide, they regularly participate in global debates on food sovereignty, ecological farming, biodiversity and community building. From the village lanes of Medak to global highways, the path they have traversed is truly astounding.